Okay, hello and uh, welcome to our final lesson on building the bridge. Uh, this will be a very short lesson. If you've stuck with me through the first uh, through the first set and you've gotten this far, this next uh, final set of moves will be very simple. Um, this you know particular model is not about so much form as it is function. You know, it's about just the basic tools involved. Um, we'll be uh, I'll be putting together a new series of lessons on uh, modeling. Uh, after this. So uh, here's where we've gotten to. We developed uh, this basic model that's got our pillar um, and we've got sort of um, a post that comes up above it and we uh, stretched our plane. We made an array. Uh, we set our modifier on it so that it's a constant offset. And now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the roadway basically, um, develop it just a little bit and then create some um, guardrails. Okay, so uh, what we do is we go into edit mode, all right, and we make sure that the plane is selected that we've created above our pillar, and uh, we're going to try to get these two corners to touch, all right, and it's, it's very important that uh, we maintain constraints. We're going to use it by rotating and sizing. Because the plane right now is, is perfectly level, we want to maintain that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit R, I'm going to rotate, and I'm going to constrain it with Y, and that's going to maintain, um, it. it's going to stay perfectly level. And I'm going to use S, and I'm going to once again constrain it the, uh, the size by X, and I'm going to rotate and constrain by Y. We want to keep everything nice and flat, and we don't want it to move up or down. We just want it to move to the side so that everything will meet up correctly. Um, and we're getting pretty close. I'm going to rotate, constrain it with a Y. I'm going to use SX. Just going to try to get those two corners to meet there. We're getting pretty close. RY, SX. There we go. All right. Um, so we've gotten those two corners up here to meet. Now I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose uh, vertices select mode right here. I'm going to select this um, this vertex in the corner. I'm going to grab it, and once again, I need to constrain it. I'm going to constrain it by X because I don't want it to move up or down, just over. And I'm going to get it to connect with the roadway right there. Let's take a look and see. I'll hit the period, and we'll try to zoom in on that. You can see that it's still um, what we need to do is uh, we need to grab it one more time. I'm going to grab it and constrain it by X. Let's try Y. See, that's going to move it up or down. We don't want that. Z. Um, I think that's going to take it off, too. So um, the best thing for us to do right now is to select the entire plane by using the face. All right. And I'm going to size it. OK. So I'm going to constrain by X. And I'm going to rotate it and constrain it. And we'll, we'll get it matched up here in a second. And once again, just by sizing and rotating, all right, I can create a match there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just I sized it and I rotated. I used it, I used R and I constrained it by Y and I used S, and then I constrained it with X, all right, and I got a match where those two sides are now matched up which is what we want. And just by matching those two edges, you can now see, I'll zoom out of the model, you can see our roadway is connected all the way around. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this plane, all right, that we're focused in on, and I'm going to hit E to extrude. And I'm just going to extrude it down to where it approximately me meets the pillar. All right. Oops. E. There we go. All right. And now the roadway is starting to take shape. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to use the loop cut tool, which is something we've used before, and I'm going to cut two. Um, I'm going to cut two sides in. So I'm going to hit Control R, and you can see that the pink line appears there. It's going to cut that the loop in that face, which is what we want. And it begins, of course, in edge slide mode. And I'm going to pull it over to about there. 
And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to hit Control R for loop cut. And I'm going to slide this one over. All right, so we've created now two loop cuts in this face that we just created. And now I'm going to shift and I'm going to right click these two faces that I just created. All right. Um, I'm going to hit shift D and I'm going to constrain the movement along the Y axis. I'm going to pull them straight up. We'll say to about there. And now I'm going to extrude down. Okay. And uh, that's it. Okay. Um, the Essential Blender, the book that I made this model from, um, at the very end, it shows this bridge uh, superimposed on this beautiful background, you know. Um, so, you know, when you take a model like this, um, you can color it in or you can you know, add materials to the different faces or the different parts of it. And there are just all kinds of different ways you can work with it from here. But for just creating the basic model, um, what we're looking for is something that looks like that. We basically created a roadway and a guardrail, guardrail that stretches all the way around. And the last part of this lesson, we really didn't use anything new, but just for the sake of completing the project, um, I wanted to go ahead and uh, just sort of cut it out and make the thing work. So there's your final bridge. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post comments. And thanks for keeping up with this particular tutorial. I'll have a whole new set on modeling uh, coming soon. Okay, so thank you for watching.